Hmm. So this morning, I woke up ready to go about my regular routine. Like most millennials, my regular routine includes checking Twitter casually from bed. But what I saw when arriving on Twitter clearly distressed my cat as well. And that is the funny leaks hashtag. I think there was also some other negatory Funimation related hashtag, but that was the one I mainly perused. So this is what's going on if you were lucky enough to have missed this Twitter drama. Basically, it's outtakes, but more than that, they're inappropriate. I'll be honest that I don't have an issue with the ones that are sexual in nature. My understanding is that all the voice actors who, you know, participated in those are adults and the only people who would have heard that, had it not been leaked, would have been other adults who work at Funimation. So I don't necessarily see the problem there. Now, if there's a greater context that I don't know about, uh, I, I do know, of course, the characters aren't necessarily adults that they were playing. I don't watch Dragon Ball. So, you know, right there, I'm probably missing some context and I won't pretend that I'm not. However, I am familiar with a lot of Funimation's work and the voice actors in question. So, so wanted to comment because I do think it's a very important conversation. So the clip that's troubling is the one <laughs> where an individual uses uh, a slur against gay people. I'm not gonna say it in a YouTube video that's asking for trouble. Uh, and of course, it's not a word that I would use. And I'm, you can hear it yourself if you check out the link that I will put in the description box linking you to the, to the leak. I do think this one is problematic. While all of them were clearly jokes and just people messing around in the booth, that's the one where, should you even be using that word as a joke? No, not really. So I think that's the one a lot of people are taking issue with. Uh, I think some people are feeling upset about some of the other ones, mainly because they grew up with this show. Like I've seen a lot of tweets like, oh no, my childhood. And, and if I had that connection to it, th there's a chance that those would bother me the same way. But I think about the shows I watched when I was younger and, and I don't think, that the sounds, just the sexual sounds would have bothered me, really. Once again, comment below if there's something I'm missing about that part. I tried to read through this hashtag to get as much information as I could, but it was hard enough finding the actual tweet with the links because it was mostly just people either defending it, saying it's just jokes, you pansies, or people, you know, being upset and saying their childhood has ruined it. There seems to pretty much be two hot takes, and, and that's about it. It's, it's one or the other. I actually was surprised at how split the opinion was. You know, a lot of times you go in these hashtags and everyone's sharing the same sentiment of either cancel this person, company thing, or, oh, it's not that bad, everybody calm down. But it, but it was really a little bit of both. And, and like I said, I am not someone who likes fence sitting, so I'm not gonna say, well, I see both sides. I really think there isn't an issue except for the clip where the slur is used, especially because that particular individual, if it is the individual I'm understanding, from Twitter already has other controversies about him. So I'm really curious to see what happens. I might record a follow-up video when Funimation eventually responds with how big this tweet is. I mean, it's, it's trending. And I, I know that Twitter now sort of operates trends based around some of your interests. So I don't necessarily know who all has seen it, but from the looks of the sheer number of tweets, I believe this is reaching people who aren't even in the community. So I do think they're gonna make a statement and I'm curious to see what that is. And we'll go from there. You know, I, I think there's a couple different ways they could approach this. Some are good or some are bad. I mean, it's not necessarily their fault that an employee said this, but the question becomes, do they wanna 
give up that employee by distancing themselves from them. I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts about the Funimation leaks in the comments below. This was just a really quick video. Thanks for checking it out. Peace.